right, so we're over here on our DPM server, and yes, I know another server, there's a lot of servers that were deployed, a lot of virtual machines that were deployed during this course. So yes, this is another virtual machine that I have here that I have the DPM software installed on. And if we open the management console, which you can launch from here, or you can install also on the management PC and launch it from there. Um, again, the installation of DPN, nothing overly exciting. It was um, out of the box, all accepted all the defaults and, and brought it to this point again. And the whole installation is a little out of scope. And, and even this particular exercise, I'm trying to go a little overboard here just to make sure that we're covering everything that you might come across on the exam. But DPN, you know, in all honesty, requires its own course if we were to cover all of its capabilities. So we're just going to try to give you a brief run through of what's going on. So I've already installed an agent on one of my virtual machines here, VMM01. What we want to do is we want to go through that same exercise with you. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is under agents here, we're going to go ahead and click on install. This is going to start the install wizard. Now you can ha you have two options. You can either install agents right away or you can attach agents. And this is good if the computers have all, are behind a firewall, if you're trying to, if the, if the, uh, the agent is already installed and you're just trying to reattach it. So you have several options here alternatively to just install the agent the traditional way. We're just going to go ahead with the, uh, the default here. We're going to click on next and then we're going to find the hosts that we want to add to agents to. So what I want to do is we're going to go with Hyper-V1 and we're also going to go with Hyper-V2. Let's go ahead and add both of those to the mix and let's go ahead and click on next. We're going to give this a, a username and password for authentication here and make sure this username and password obviously has rights to install the software onto these hosts and uh, pay close attention to whether or not that Windows firewall is enabled. If it is enabled, then you want to make sure that you have all the right ports open. Otherwise, the agent deployment remotely will probably fail. So we're going to go ahead and click on next here. Now, this is really cool, and I did this on purpose. So whenever you're adding hosts that are part of a cluster, well, DPM is going to automatically detect that and say, hey, I want to back up all of the hosts that make up this cluster. As a result, it found that we haven't, you know, selected Hyper-V3 to, to have an agent added to it, and it wants to have an, you know, to, to be able to back up the entire cluster as opposed to just, you know, one or two um, hosts out of that cluster. So it prompts us for that here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, and then we're going to go ahead and click on Next. If you're using operating systems like Windows 2003 or in Windows XP, you might need to reboot the computer automatically. Now, here's the cool thing. I'm going to select yes here, even though we're going to get an error and the reason, well, a warning. And the reason that we're going to get a warning is because, again, because we're adding an agent to a cluster, DPM essentially doesn't want to be held responsible for rebooting you know any member of that cluster and jeopardizing any of the production systems that are on there because it doesn't have control over well how to evacuate these systems and reboot them and all sorts of stuff so it's automatically throwing an error here or a warning to be careful that these are part of a, a cluster and you know it, it will not reboot these servers and that maybe this should be a manual function so I just want to see you to see that so if you for now we're gonna go ahead and click on no and then we're going to click on next these are the hosts that we want to deploy that particular agent to and at this point we're gonna go ahead and click on install now this will take a few seconds maybe a few minutes here so I can go ahead and close this and monitor the status from here and while this is you know installing what we can do is we can add some disks so uh, we're going to do the same thing if we select disks here you'll find that i don't have anything that's added so if i come up here to add well i also don't have anything added here so what i've done is i've added a 250 gig disk to this virtual machine i've attached it now what you want to do from within windows in order to allow dpm to see this is you want to be able to bring that particular disk online and you want to be able to initialize it but you don't want to create a volume out of it you don't want to put any nothing just initialize the disk to do that we're going to go over here to the local server the server manager once that's up you'll find that you have file and storage services down here if you select those and then if you select disks you'll find that I have a again a 250 gig disk here that's offline so what I'm going to do is right click on it and we're going to bring it online yes 
Once the disk is online, what I'm going to do is again right click on it one more time and we're going to initialize it. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes here. Once that's initialized, that's all that we need to do in order for DPM to be able to detect it. So if I go back into my DPM console here and we try to click on add one more time, you'll find that it automatically detected that disk. Now once we select add here, it's also it, DPM needs to make those disks dynamic. So because I've initialized it, I haven't really specified or it's basic by default. What, what's going to happen now is that's going to prompt me to say, hey, you know, you've selected a basic disk. I'm about to create a dynamic disk out of it. Okay, I'm all good with that. And voila, that is the process of adding a disk essentially uh, to DPM. Now let's go back and check on those agents and see if uh, our installation was successful. So we're going to go back to agents here and voila. So we know that we now have a successful installation of agents on essentially those four hosts, all the Hyper-Vs and our VMM server as well.